Hi, you guys. Welcome back. Well, today is Roman and I last day here in our little piece of paradise, our little slash honeymoon that we never went on in our 101 rekindling our love life, our marriage, and us as a person trip. So, um, we're just going to go through, like, ask each other a series of questions. We haven't, I haven't asked him anything for him to prepare for an answer and vice versa. So, are you looking at the, the dot, baby? You, you know what? You know fully yourself. What you mean? Because you're looking at yourself instead of the little dot. <laughs> I don't even see that dot. The little dot is right there. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Babe, what was your favorite part about this trip? Yeah, just being with you in January. Just... Spending time alone, trying to refresh in our relationship and all that, and our marriage. Even though there ain't nothing wrong with it, but you know what I'm saying? Try to keep the flame going. The flame? Yeah, the flame going so it won't go out. <laughs> mm, I hear that. Yeah. Um, but hey, it was funny how you were running on that beach though when it was cold. <laughs> oh, that went a totally disrespectful. Especially me. when that water hit the feet. My feet went numb. Yeah, you guys. My feet totally went numb. I was like, oh no. But in the crazy, that was the first, no, the second night. Um, that saying itself was so cold. Because I had all my flip flops. But. She still wanted to go on the beach. I wanted to go on that beach. And when that water hit my foot, and Ron did not tell me that that wave was, too late, was man. coming, it I was saw you late. peeking. I, I think you knew it was like, Nah, man, it was too late. For real. It hit the feet and it was a wrap. I'm like, oh my god, it's definitely time to go. Cause my feet went numb. And then I tried to run on the beach. How can you run on the beach with flip flops on? You can't even run with, with tennis shoes on. How can you run with flip flops on? That part. <sighs> so it was a time, but I definitely enjoyed that. Um, my favorite part about this uh, vacation is definitely spending more time with the wrong one on one time. Um, just getting to know him more, him getting to know me more. Uh, I really want to say the beach <laughs> was my favorite yeah, part because, oh my God, I just fell in tune with the earth. I swear to God, when I woke up this morning. I was with a solid dolphin that later was solid I know. I thought I spotted one. I wasn't sure. Nah, you didn't. I did. You guys, I'm all, I get so emotional. I love the freaking beach. I'm going to tell you, I love it so much. I cried this morning. I'm about to cry now. <laughs> it just makes me feel very peaceful. Okay. But yeah, I really love enjoying being here with Rome. Your question. Really? I swear. <laughs> you go. How you felt when you first got here? Oh, I was like, oh my gosh, the room is even better in person. Like, oh my freaking goodness, I'm going to enjoy this. And like, especially being, I was not expecting to be able to be that soft. Um, because when I peeked the room, I said, okay, you know what? I got little two rooms I wanted to get. I said, you know what? I want that one because it, more, it has more of a raw ocean view for one. And for two, I love how the bed was. And the view is what I definitely wanted. And I said, oh my God. And when I got here, I'm like, yes. This is what I wanted. Oh God, yeah. What was your first thought for the room? I'm like, wow. I had walked to, uh, to one of the first. You ready to see the view? Yeah, uh, ready to see But the it view. was dark. It's like, you gonna see. I didn't let that light. <laughs> like, okay, yeah. Oh my god! Call it vacation right here. Is what? What you call it vacation right here? <laughs> oh gosh! What was your favorite eating place here? My favorite eating place. But mm, I said um the thing we went to yesterday, the little crab thing. The crab trap. Yeah. I was totally agree with that. I would say definitely say the food in well what I had I'm gonna say everything. 
but the food that I have had here at the hotel that they sell downstairs in the restaurant, we I had the what shrimp po' boy with you. Yeah. It was not all that. It was not all that. It I was, thought they would do good. I ain't gonna go with and all that. Yeah, but they didn't have it in stock. It had the uh, the peel and eat yeah. and peel and shrimp, whatever how they they put it. Just how they, they cook the shrimp on the thing, you know what I'm saying? But I thought they would have did it right. Well, you can't say it because you don't know. I say I think. Well, don't think it because you don't know. True that. Which I get them credit. No, I just saying. Yeah, y'all know. Oh yeah. <laughs> But, yeah, but the crab trap was slamming. And then the bag was good too. I want to say that when you was talking to the lady. You want to say nothing? Her eating way. I saw you. Oh, uh, okay. She found her friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This older lady was just talking to me and telling about the uh, places like to go. She said she'd been here like twenty five years. Uh, it's a great place here for your um, vacation. Vacation. A lot of you guys want to know where where we are. We are in Destin, Florida, and um, we stay at the Sun Destin Beach Resort Hotel. Yeah, the hotel is fabulous. The staff was fabulous. Everything about this hotel was perfect. Everybody, I loved it. Everybody was friendly. You, yeah, treat you right. Treat you equal. No sideways faces. Did the the um. People that come and go, that like stay here, very pleasant, very nice. And like we told you, on people, on people we had like when was that? rude contact with it was, was when we was out shopping, and that was our skin tone. She did. What well, I did. <laughs> they side eyed me like when I spoke. They gonna come speak that, but that was the only uh, kind of bad vibe we got here. Well, I got here. Yeah, they're up with it. <laughs> I did not look uppity. I I said when we got out, I was like, no, you went to my you know him. <laughs> Ro, tell her what I said when I was shopping. You're like, really, Amy? <laughs> what, what did I say? You feel uppity? <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'm just kind of like, I was like, I'm kind of high class or something. Yeah, like that. They, they, they caught the vibe. <laughs> And you felt like that, they felt the same way. Everybody looking at you. Because I just went in the stores. I was just buying whatever I wanted. And then, you know, I'm just coming up with my bags. Hi. And, like, she's yeah, like, like. And she just like. It's probably checking your man out. And it. <laughs> Don't ah. kill my vibe. <laughs> Anyways. Um, what else? I used to be a I was trying to know why I felt like they were uppity. I'm high maintenance, sorry. There you go. Uh, what else? Going on? Um, do you feel like you, you got more connected with me during the trip? Yeah, yeah, I really do. In what way? Emotional way. Explain yourself, please. I forgot to see you smile a lot. It ain't no depression or nothing like that. No mm -hmm. madness or no depression. Man. It wasn't no depression on this trip. Now you get in your depression mood, I ain't seen none of that. All I see was smile, laughter, and act like we young again. Well, we still young, but you know what I'm saying? When we first met, I felt that bad. You feel me? Like we was connecting more. But see, we weren't used to this though. We always been like, I'm always working. You always doing your thing at the house. Then when I get home, we got the kids. You know what I'm saying? So, we never got out and did by ourselves. So it was good to feel that vibe. Just need you playing around and all that. Mm -hmm. Like we little kids. Would you like to do this more often throughout the year? Yeah, I would. Do you feel like it's good I, for us? Don't get me wrong. Now, I love being around my baby. But I think me and you should have some me time. More often. Yeah. I think sometimes being around your kids and your family so much, you started going at each other sometimes. It could be so aggravating and all that. But as soon as you get from around the family and the kids sometimes, all that just go out the window, you just focus on you 
and that other person you with. I think it should be that way sometimes. But next time we come, we're going to have the baby and the grandma. <laughs> the grandma. <laughs> what is well, it's, it's the grandma? No, she's the grandma. That way she, well. Grandma, mama, the grandma. She's my way of saying. We don't call her no grandma. She glam. She glammed up. She too, she too Hollywood and cute for that grandma yeah, stuff. She gonna be Hollywood when she's done here. Oh yeah, you can see her now. I say, mama, I ain't want. But her little baby too is yet. Mama, I don't want her nothing back, no back. Okay, girl. <laughs> hey, but don't be put me on YouTube now, but my ba mama, please. Okay, mama, I got you. My coins is your coins. Okay, so just yeah. Worry about that. Yeah, mom, you know you got a bad farm. <sighs> that lady crazy. Um, what's in Oh man, I was looking at that dog saying a big wave about looking wrong. <laughs> your next question. Hmm? Your, your question. How I feel uh, taking pictures on the beach. Cause you were snapping all this trip. I mean, I, I thought I was in a photo, I mean, uh, a photo shoot. Yeah. That's your question? No. But I want to know how I feel when we was on the beach, though. Last night? Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I know it wasn't special. You didn't want to snap picture. I did want to snap. That's how I, I want to do with me. Tell me up. I did just want to snap. Oh, God. I messed up my makeup. Oh. Man. Oh my god. They use me. Well, I use you. That drink was good though. Oh, hell yeah. My drink was hella good too. I to get a drink. Oh my and god. I just gotta cook that cover because that eye makeup is messed up. I gotta do I that. I one day open that bottle. I know they got the same drink that I had. Yeah, but then who think I'll make it the same way? That. You mm -hmm. got a verb on a drink now. Yes, you can. You can put a little too much of something and then not enough of something else. Oh, man. Mm, 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 mm. What did you think about our sex life here on, on the trip? Uh, I thought it was rush. It's okay, you know what I'm saying? But I guess because of the vibe I had, just having you alone, too much of happiness and all that. I guess that's why it went right. I just felt like a rush situation. Was I, you even horny? To, to like want to want it to hunch? I was when it started, then start. I ain't gonna lie to you. I started looking out the window, seeing the lights and stuff. <laughs> and then, like, yeah, we'll be here. It's really good. <laughs> I was I'm sorry. But. I still fucking on you, baby, now, but the lights took my ass. <laughs> that <was> like, yeah! <laughs> I said, I took the hand off it. <laughs> really? I just was excited, man, just to have you around. I really wasn't really about, worried about things, but. You know what I'm saying? I'm just happy to be around you by myself. Like I said, I'm not worried about sex. You guys, let me tell you something, me, because you guys know I am a, I'm a nympho of sex, eh? A nympho. I want it all the time. Yeah. But to be honest. I didn't see it this with the trip. I wasn't horny. Now, now wait till you get back home. Yeah, it's going to be crack a lacking. I would definitely be fucking like a damn. I'm probably going to fuck tonight when I get home. Yeah, it's probably gonna hit me then. But I doubt it, so we're gonna still be talking about trip and shit like that. So. You guys still gonna be happy, so your girl wasn't even horny. I just wanted to fuck because we was here in this new vet new place and I want to like fuck with the window open. Possibly somebody can have their little scope peeking watching you. That turns me on. I, I like to be watched. But my juice box which just wasn't no, I'm just saying. It just... Didn't they stop me and say, hold up. I said we really rushed it. Something like really wrote my coochie.
you lately because <laughs> we can't come to dinner at the house like before we left, like a couple days before we left, and we were hunching, and I was like, okay, I got some bad news. <laughs> In the middle, fuck it. Okay, I, I got some bad news. Okay, you're like, what? Uh, what? <laughs> like, what are you talking about? We are hunting here. Why you got bad news? You ain't telling about no fault. It was like, what? My juice box just got numb. Girl, I was waiting on you to say something else, but I was gonna dab on your ass, nigga. What? <laughs> Ron was like, he did. Seriously, Avis. Because he was all into it. Like, he was like, go. But I, my juice box was like, it was feeling so good, but then didn't She just stopped. She just like, Okay. I got the plan there. And then I told Ron, he's like, No, nah, I'm good. I'm fine, I'm good. <laughs> but he was definitely not fine. He was definitely because okay, I was telling him, okay, babe. Oh, he he fell asleep probably like five like five minutes later. And then I started playing with him, playing with his wee wee and everything. He was like, No, nah, babe, I'm 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 okay. I'm okay. I just wanna go to sleep now. I'm like, Okay, so an hour later. I guess I turned into Avis that night. He was in his feelings because I was being honest, like my coochie just stopped. I don't know what happened. And then I started rubbing on his wee wee or whatever. And yeah, you know, he said I was stroking it, but I was not. I was just rubbing it and just like, I like to play with the head, like play with the head with my thumb or, or with these two fingers. I like to rub on it, like do like this for some reason. And then he talk about. I was like ooh, stroking his weeder and he got on hard and he, and he just got over and then we fucked and well, oh my god it was the best fuck ever then oh my god like like I'm a side girl I have really turned to the side girl lately huh? I hear that fat dick that way it was <laughs> and since that night girl you had turned to the side girl I'm telling you ever since that night <laughs> You I'm a sad girl now, okay? You go sad girl. You go sad goddamn stupid. Oh my god. You need a sad girl. I can't deal with you. I cannot deal with you. Okay, next question. What did you think about us and the jacuzzi and the pool last night? Oh, I thought that was so fun. The little hot tub and the hot, hot tub and the pool. As you know, that's the first time I've ever been in a hot tub. Me too, my first time. That's a lie. I've never been in a hot tub. You've really been in a hot tub with your auntie? Yeah, I love She so has a, a, a freaking big giant tub that shoots out water. That ain't no hot tub. Uh oh. That's was a hot tub with bricks and everything. That's a hot tub. Oh, okay. Well, I'm good. Jacuzzi tub is something else. Okay. That's a hot jacuzzi hot tub, whatever the hell that was with all the bricks and you gotta sit on the bricks and shit in there. Mm. That, that was awesome. What do you think about that? Yeah, my friends were scared. They were good. They were relaxing to you? Oh man, that job felt so good on my back. Mm. I wanted some sex action and I thank God we didn't because a couple came in later. I know it. They probably had sex in that business. I know it. They looked like they were ready. Oh yeah, they did. <laughs> and then we went into the um, pool with the indoor pool, which was really, really warm. Really, really nice. I'm trying to teach Bozo here how to swim, and he's trying to fucking drown me. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't worry. Facebook Live saw that. Mm -hmm. That's a lie. Oh, my God. And I went underwater. My whole unit came up. I had to wash it last Why night. Wash I tried to drown you. Because when I had my legs wrapped around you and you were standing around the pool, walking me around the pool, your ass wouldn't decide to go underwater without letting me know. Uh, and the water went up my damn nose. I remember and I that. thought I was about to die. I don't remember that. You, oh, you remember. If it be warm here today, I'm going to be really upset. You should get boss. I'm sorry. I can't come in today. Tomorrow. You can't come uh, in tomorrow. Yeah. Another day. Slide that damn card. One more day. Slide my ass home back to tell her. I don't want to go home yet. I'm sorry, but I got to get back to the money. Back to the grind. You got to get back to your grind. Fuck my grind. Oh, don't say that. Okay, God forgive me. Not for my grind. All right, now. 
But you guys, remember and I are like the so overall our experience was really great here at the hotel. The hotel was nice, the environment was nice. The desk and sorry baby. The whole everything we went to was nice. The outlets was nice. See wrong moment. Ron went to the Ralph Lauren outlet and got him a shirt. Stand up and show them. Stand up and show them. His shirt says what, you guys? What's his name? Rome. So you know he had to get it. And man was in the store, he was like, Rome. I'm like, yeah, man, my name Rome. He just started busting out laughing. He looked like R O M E? R O M E? Yeah. I started pointing at him like, you see that? Why? <laughs> So stealing. Well, I guess it's time to go. Yeah, it's time to close it up. How can we not talk about family with family? It's all we got. And now we're going to reach you with the last drive. It's been a long day without you, my friend. Can I tell you all about it when I see you again? Mm -hmm. We come a long way mm -hmm. from where we began. Can I tell you all about it when I see you again? When I see you again? Oh, oh, oh. Beach and that song was on the beach, and I was about to cry saying, That's what we talk about. We're gonna see the beach again. We're gonna be here. <sighs> then why I just keep crying? So emotional, ass on <sighs> You ready to go? I got no choice. I get back to the baby. Mm. Nigga, you just cry right now, but as soon as you see him, go <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, Rome. Throwing in the right at the mama. <laughs> that boy. I'll be ready to suck on them papers' ass. I miss having my one on one time with you. We have it again. Mm. Okay, we're gonna do our last questions. What are things you're going to do better in changing with, within yourself and your marriage? Spend more family time on the weekend. Try to get the kids out the house more often. Then June need to spend some time. I need to make, I need to really work on that. Really. My only boy and I know I'd be tired sometimes, but I need to really work on him. Yeah. Try to do better. I'm trying to find a better job, too. Mm -hmm. I might get vacation time. I ain't got to worry about running back. You had a great job now. What are you talking about? I had a great job and all, but I'm saying, man, like. Do you know how long you gotta work at a place before you get vacation time? What, a year? Hell no. I don't. Don't worry about it. Anyway. It don't just happen like that. Okay. So you want me to keep cutting grass? I mean, if you do whatever you think that's best for you, I'm not gonna stop you from doing nothing that you do, that you want to do. Good question. I'm not gonna sit here and waste my minutes. You're right, nigga. Uh huh. That's the crap we had. What you gonna do, babe? About what? Marriage wise and all that. <sighs> Marriage wise, I'm trying to be more understanding. 
I'm gonna try not to be so clingy. Like that is. Like try to be under you all the time. I don't know how that's gonna work out. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> yeah, girl. I love to be under. I don't, you. I, I, I don't blame you for being like that. Cause I work so much, and you really don't have time to spend with me like you want to. That's why I say this was good that we got time. You know what I'm saying? Connect with each other. Look at the camera. We got time to connect with each other. You see? So I, I can't blame you for that because I work so much. Only time you really get to spend it, well, not me either. I ain't finished. Go ahead. I'm sorry for cutting you off. I didn't say anything. No, I'm saying I cut you off when you were like clingy. Um, not being so clingy. Um, I don't really curse at you that much anymore unless the truth. Keep fucking lying to me about stupid shit. A little lie can turn into a big fucking lie. Then you have to cover that little lie. You keep lying and lying. You can get caught like you've been doing. So. And it has nothing to do with no females. Okay? So. Anyway. Um. And, um. What else? I don't get you. I don't know if you say I beat you, but I don't beat you. What the <laughs> fuck? But I don't hit you anymore when I do get mad. You know what? I throw stuff at you. <laughs> yeah, but you can't even throw it straight. <laughs> um, try to, when we do get into an argument, try not to scream and yell more. But the thing is, you have to learn to learn how to communicate with me. You have to learn how to, to communicate with your wife, period. Or any situation. Especially when you when you get off work. Like, what the hell? I'm not going to turn that into a conversation. But you know what I'm talking about. No, I ain't about that. I'm not. I'm just saying, though. That shit got to stop. Because that's what pisses me off. When I come in the house, what? When I come in the house from work? No, when you come home late from work. Oh. Are you lying? I think you're on the fucking back road when you're not. Off doing your own damn thing. I'm doing that. But anyway, you guys, this is it. We gotta sing my song again. It's been a long day without you, my friend. What are we doing after this? <sighs> Going to the beach and take our pictures before we head back home. Get some lunch and get on the road. How could we not talk about family when family is all we got? And now we're going to be with you for the last ride. We out.